Alright, I just got through tier 3. Thought I'd do a quick tour of my factory slash base so far. Um, so under, I mean, this is pretty much right where I started the game in the northern forest. I have uh, a few iron nodes down here that I've been drawn from. Uh, a limestone node right over here. And then a couple of copper nodes over here. This is kind of where it all started and it was all kind of scattershot all over the place. Uh, I organized to move outputs kind of below the floor here to try to have a, uh, a logistics floor underneath. Um, the logistics floors are spaghetti underneath here, but they're underneath everything, so you can't really see it so well. Um, going down this way, I have a quartz factory out that way, uh, and then this is a, a little truck road that goes and grabs the output from the factory and brings it back and drops it off at the truck station. Anything that's excess is getting sunk right there. Um, over here, I have an oil facility. off of three wells and it's making a ton of plastic. I uh, also have some fuel generators going and any excess fuel is getting packaged into packaged fuel here. I have a train station here that is picking up the plastic and the packaged fuel. The plastic is going to my big factory that I just finished for adaptive control units and then this packaged, packaged fuel is getting dropped back off at my storage facility which I'll head back to now. Tractor dropping stuff back, dropping stuff off, and heading back to the factory. Oh yeah, then out that way is a Caterium node. It's not terribly far away, so I have a, a quick fire, quick wire factory out there. It's close enough that I just conveyed it all back, but then. I have a, a truck line running to it. I have another Caterium node out there. Quick wire is getting sent back here, and then it's all getting conveyed here. Uh, and then this also goes out to a coal plant. Uh, I have a bunch of coal generators out there, and the extra coal is getting sent back here via truck. And then this coal is going down here to make. All of my spaghetti underneath here kind of goes down here into an entrance area for my storage. Before I get down there, I'll start up top, and this is just my storage facility. I've got everything sticking out here that I'm making so far. Tried to make it kind of pretty. Got some lights, glass on the back, looking out at everything else. There's the big adaptive control unit factory I just finished building out there. And I set up a, a storage a storage container right here, so if I have anything extra in my inventory, I can just drop it here, and it'll end up back in there. Set up a couple of doors on the side to lead you back down, a little viewing area here. Everything's coming in right here. Um, 
and then my drop off from the train station is right here. And I've got an upper and a lower line going. Uh, thanks, Josh, for pointing that out to me. I wish I had noticed that sooner, but uh, and these are all smart splitters. And it's when something comes across it that is supposed to go in that storage container, it goes in the lower one, and then uh, and there's ones up top too. So then once both the top and the bottom are full, everything is then overflow, and anything overflow gets sent back out to the other side. And I've got two awesome sinks, one for the upper line and one for the lower line. Uh, I just got to tier four, so I only have Mark four belts so far, but I'm looking forward to upgrading this to Mark five. Just heard my train honk to leave up here. Let's see if we can catch up to it real quick. Yeah, built my main train platform up here for drop off. Yeah, I'll come back down. So yeah, that's the storage facility, the side of it. Um, yeah, I've got the MAM set up here. I've got a workshop set up here. Another tool bench here. Um, this building over here I call my laboratory. So I'll come in here and I'll drop off, you know, slugs and leaves and stuff, and it will go underneath and it'll turn into biomass or bio, shard, bio shards or, you know, alien DNA capsules, what have you, and it comes up here. And then if I'm making um, space elevator parts manually, I'll build something in here and just drop it into into that conveyor down through the floor and it'll end up over here back into the space elevator um, just look underneath that real quick that's the main line coming down from that storage container and this is all set up with smart, uh, smart splitters to divert the resources to where they're supposed to go to the appropriate constructor and then it all kind of gets merged back together comes out over here Smart splitter sending it back up into those three storage containers up there, and anything overflow gets sunk into another awesome sink down here. So I'll get in the hyper tube now and head over towards this enormous factory over here I just finished building. Down here is also some more steel, some more coal, uh, coal generator, steel factory. Uh, there's a cave down there with SAM in it that's being converted into reanimated SAM. Over the limestone track under the factory track. I didn't quite realize that I was building the factory so close to the limestone node, otherwise I probably would have just combined these, but it's okay. Um, so, you know, my base is here. Uh, train stop here for the limestone, it loops up here to grab some iron, then it comes and drops it off at the factory, then the train kind of winds down up over these arches, over the bamboo forest to go pick up some coal, then it goes and it picks up some copper over here, comes back down, goes up over through the water, comes and picks up the plastic in that, in the packaged fuel from that plant I showed you earlier, and then loops back around. Um, it still wasn't quite enough iron and copper to keep everything primed in here, so there's a nearby copper ore that I'm mining and bringing in here, and then three iron nodes over there that I'm also bringing in. So this train's got seven cars on it. This first one is anything that's going to be output that I want to send back to the factory. Then this second one is carrying plastic, the next two carry iron. And then I believe it's limestone in the fifth card, coal in the sixth, and copper in the seventh. So then here's where that extra copper that I was mining is coming up and merging with what's coming out of the train. And same thing over here with the iron. Here's where it's coming up and it's 
splitting and then merging with the two iron lines coming in. This is my loading dock here for the factory. Wasn't quite sure if I had enough power when I turned it on, so I made sure to have a switch here so I could turn it off if I had to, but I'm... Ooh, I'm <laughs> teetering very close to uh, to my total production at times, so I need to go make some more power soon. Um, adaptive control unit factory. And, you know, I'll show a view from the other side, but I've tried to make this as nice looking as I can. So this first floor is just kind of a lobby, and then you can look in through the, the dock here. So this first thing you're seeing is any output all the way from the top floor coming back down to get loaded onto the train. The plastic, the iron, the limestone, coal, and copper. And then door in there, and then just a door back out to the dock here. Stairs to go up or over here. So first floor is iron and steel smelting. So I just, I left this entire column over these open to just keep running stuff up this column of these various floors. So all the iron comes up here into smelters. And I got another bank of smelters over here and if there's any there was more coal on this, or I'm sorry, iron on this side than that one, so if there's any extra it gets dumped back over there. And then the iron ingots are coming back up through there. And the rest of the iron is coming over here and coming in with the coal as well to make steel. Steel ingots going up there. Tried to make sure I labeled everything too just so I didn't get too confused about what I was looking at or where I was going. Up to the second floor. This is where all the copper smelting and crafting is. Kind of ran out of space here from a... I'll show you when I get up here, but this is a, a road over here that's leading over to my other Katerium factory I was talking about. So. I had to start building out this way. So then this is kind of similar here. It's bringing in all the copper and it's smelting it all into copper ingots. And then it's all going down this one manifold line. This is, I think, 20 constructors making wire to then feed these 10 constructors making cable. So then that's cable coming back out and then out there to go back up top for con further construction. Then uh, a few more constructors just making wire, going back out. And then these are making copper sheet, and then going back out. up the stairs to the last two floors. Yeah, so there's kind of the, the pedestrian road I had built to get out to it. So I, I'm, you can see I'm right up against it. So I had to divert where my stairwell was. So everything for iron, steel, and concrete constructors is here. So this first bank is making steel pipes, thankfully with the uh, alternate recipe for just using iron ingots to make steel pipes. And they go back out there. And here's iron rods going up, iron plates going up, so many screws, uh, it's a total of 525 screws but one line needs 300 and one needs 225 so I had them split up because uh, that's more than a, a Mark IV belt can handle so I just kept them separated. And we got steel ingots going into steel beams here. And then finally some constructors making concrete and going back up. Here, 
here's the floor where final assembly is happening. So this got a little messy up here, but I just I set up a bunch of floors that are just two meters above each other. And this is instead of logistics floor being underneath, they're just uh, they're just above. So this one's got wire on the near side and steel beam on the far side. Yeah, steel pipe on the near side, concrete on the far side. And this one's all for cable. Cable going all sorts of places. Uh, a copper sheet on this floor. Plastic on this floor coming up directly from from the storage container down there. Iron plate on the near side, the 300 screws on the far side. 225 screw on this floor. And finally iron rods up top going in over there. So it looks a little more contained from up top than it does down here. But here we've got a few assemblers making stators. And then the stators are getting combined with cable to make automated wiring. And then these are all my circuit board constructors and it gets used for a few things down that way. And then these are all for reinforced iron plate. Reinforced iron plate plus iron rod makes modular frames. Modular frames with, oh and then there's more down here for encased industrial beams back here. reinforced iron plate again. Back around. This manufacturer has a slight overclock on it. Makes heavy modular frames. And then these two are making computers. This one and the one next to it. And then this spaghetti over here. The circuit board's coming into a smart splitter. And if there's any overflow, it goes back out towards the output. And then... The same thing's happening here for the automated wiring. If there's one, a couple just got overflowed to go back out towards the factory output. And when we come back over to this side, we get the same thing happening over here with the computers. If there is excess, it goes back out, there's a couple going, and then heavy modular frames are doing the same thing up there. And then one final manufacturer making adaptive control. It's kind of ridiculous. This entire building is everything you need for that one manufacturer to make <laughs> adaptive control units. Um, I tried to make this as unchaotic as possible. Uh, I don't really set out for beauty with my builds. I do try to make sure that it stays organized. Um, and then from there I try to make it as, as decent looking as I can, so I added all of these concrete pillars so it looked semi more realistic, but and then all the uh, all the glass helps too. So yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm at now and I'm sure I'll have to build a, a couple more things just like this throughout tier four.